Hey, YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing absolutely great. I really do. It's been a while. I've kind of had uh, video block, you know, like my writer's block, just hit this brick wall. The main reason for that is because when I get on here, it is a flow of thought. And uh, if the flow isn't coming, if it isn't a natural feeling, I don't get on. I don't make a video. I don't write. I don't blog. It has to be something that triggers an emotion, something that I believe in or something that I feel. That's when I get on and do a video. And I know most of my videos are maybe something that a person might think is uh, personal feelings or uh, maybe not something that applies to everybody. But from my view, it does. Every video that I've done applies to all of you, to the entire world, to all the human beings, and all of Mother Nature. Boy, did I have a rough day yesterday. Very chaotic. The entire day was chaotic. And then right in the evening when I thought everything was just going to be great, I got on YouTube and found out that I had an impersonator. Somebody had opened up a channel utilizing my channel name with a little alteration and uh, was going around to, I know of one for sure channel, using vulgarity and very nasty verbiage, something I just don't do. And uh, I'm very thankful that Logan caught it and that he knew immediately it wasn't me, along with a couple other people. Thank you guys for that. That's what it's about. We're supposed to have each other's back. We're supposed to work together. And the ideal scenario, if I could find the genie's lamp and rub it, I would make one wish and... That would be that we all love each other. And in doing so, we would have each other's back. We would mend a lot of the problems in our world. You know, we've got too many problems in our world right now. The scandals are just unbelievable. Stacked and stacked and stacked. And uh, for whatever reason, it all links back and all, all the roads lead back to our government. And uh, I believe that. I had a dream, and everybody dreams, but sometimes the dreams can be frightening. They can be funny. They can be real life. They can be nonsense. And this one was probably nonsense, but I called Obama on his garbage. There was a big oval table, and I was sitting across it. I crossed my arms, and looked at him, and I said, I know what you're doing. I certainly do. The sum of the dream was that I called Obama on the fact that he had replaced every one of our government offices with a person in charge of his choice. He handpicked and put people in that obvious to all of us today, we're finding out uh, we're not only corrupt, they were taking those departments, those government departments, down. So when I look at it, common sense says to me that he is taking America down from the inside out. And I believe he is, and he's doing a fine job. He really is. He's doing a fine job because we've got people out here that just want to be fake. They don't want to be real. They don't want to work together. They don't want to have each other's backs. And they don't want to do what's right. They don't care. Life has turned into some kind of game to many people. In here in YouTube, they turn it into a video game, you know, of some sort. 
it's a challenge to them to see how they can rock the boat or tear somebody up or hurt somebody. Just nonsense. You know, we've got the government, the BLM, going out trying to destroy another rancher's lifestyle and eliminating all the ranches. How many ranches have been taken down before Bundy's? Or before the attempt to take Bundy down? Many. How many cities and states are, are stopping any farming, backyard gardening, no chickens, no bees? Hello, Michigan, are you nuts? No bees? Bees are dying off, and we're not allowed to try and help the bees stay. Of course, you'd have to get rid of Monsanto to make that happen, wouldn't you? But eliminating people's right to do gardening in their backyards when the cost of food and, and the droughts and the tornadoes and the problems that we're having worldwide are bringing down and depleting the food sources for human life. And you're eliminating a person's right to feed their family. You know, they say that uh, there's a so-called, according to Obama, a recovery. And yet 49 million Americans go hungry despite that. That was headline news in mainstream media. And whether you believe it or not, it's true. And yet they can cut the water off on the farmers in California. They can create storms and bad weather that freeze and destroy plants and trees and crops. All part of this game to take America down, to destroy our life as it is. And people want to get on YouTube and create fake channels and hurt each other and slander each other and cut each other up and play these nasty little games. You know, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's too hard for me to ingest. It really is. When are people going to understand? The only way that this can be fixed, and in my dream, I chewed him out for the way that he had set up different people in the IRS, different people in the uh, other departments of government. For instance, what's going on with the VA right now and the hospitals and the care of our veterans. All of this is by his hand and whoever's controlling him. And yet, people want to, want to just play games. They want to get on here and be fake. You don't want to stand up. You don't want to march on Washington. You don't want to call your senators and your governors and, and Congress, your legislators. You don't want to uh, make waves, and yet you create waves between the people. None of this makes sense to me. You don't want to believe that what's going on is wrong, that it's going to destroy your life, your stability. You don't want to believe in chemtrails. And yet they're real. In fact, in the government documents, they talk about it. They certainly do. I'll have to look that up, because uh, it was going around for a while, right off the government papers. They're chemtrails, and they call it chemtrails. I don't know, guys. This is uh, really crazy. Absolutely crazy. And nobody wants to work together to fix it. I, You know, I feel sad for uh, some of the people in here. People that I thought were really awesome people. And uh, they've fallen into the pit of game playing, name kick playing, name calling, slandering, cutting people up, creating fake channels. Uh, just the nastiness. And uh, it's pretty shocking. It certainly is. I think it's about time that YouTube gets real. I think it's time for people to get real. Just get real. Hmm. Oh, that fake channel, by the way, was taken down. 
and got closed immediately. Don't know who did it. I mean, who closed it. But uh, I suspect that it's the person that created it. I really do. And I think the person that created it is as fake as they can be. Not a real person at all. Because I've shared love, hugs, and jelly beans with everybody, including that person. But I know. Anyway, guys, give us some thought. You got people starving, and yet your government's cutting off all food, food sources, preventing people from growing their own, you know, creating stability and security for their homes, even trying to stop us from helping the bees. Is that okay with you? Do you like that? Do you like the fact that California can't raise the garden vegetables that they've always raised? Do you like it that government has this power to tell you you can't grow a garden? Really? In your own backyard? Guys, it's out of control. It's out of control. You want to fix it, you need to quit feeding the demon. Quit feeding the demon. If you don't want to be devoured. Starve it to death. In my dream, I told Obama. I told him exactly what I thought. What a piece of crap he is. And that I knew what he was doing. Destroying America from the inside out, department by department by department. You want to know why all these government offices are accumulating ammo and weapons? Who are they going to use it on, guys? Common sense. They're going to shoot rats in the street. Trying to get rid of wild dogs? Or hungry people? You guys better, better start paying attention. And if you don't, you give up your right to whine. You really do. This is insane. This is the twilight zone. And the thing that makes it the twilight zone is just like I told Obama in the dream. People aren't listening. They're not paying attention. I told him what I thought, and I told him, now you get out of here. And he stood up and he left. What that told me is that people have the power. But you got to use it. you got to speak it. you got to make videos. you got to stand up for something you really, truly believe in. And if you don't believe in yourselves or your families, you've got a problem. You're the issue. You are part of the problem. You might as well move into the White House and kiss his black ass. Or is he black? Maybe he's mocha. Maybe he's cocoa. Maybe he's... Half white, half black. Maybe he's... Maybe he's Muslim. Maybe he's... Who knows what he is? All that's hidden. Catch you guys later.